tough to come up with a complete list of every tank that was never actually made, since there are tons of designs that only exist on paper or as early models. But here is a better list, focusing on the ones that at least made it to the prototype or significant design stage but ended up getting cancelled before they could go into mass production. Number 1. The PL-01 A Polish light tank concept that popped up in 2013, and it was pretty cool with its sleek, futuristic look. The tank was designed to be stealthy by using panels that absorbed heat and radar signals. It was built on a Swedish chassis and had an unmanned turret that could fire a 105 or 120mm main gun with an autoloader. The crew stayed protected inside the hull, which was a smart move. Even with its cool design and features, the PL-01 never made it into mass production and turned out to be just a technology demonstrator. Still, it showed off some interesting ideas for future armored vehicles. Number 2. The T-28 the super heavy tank T-28 was an ambitious American tank concept from World War II built to smash through tough defensive lines. Weighing in at a hefty 95 tons, it had an incredible 305mm thick front armor to protect it. It was fitted with a powerful 105mm gun in a fixed casemate, which meant it didn't have a rotating turret. Its cool, quad-track system had two outer tracks that could be removed for transport, a necessity for handling its massive weight. Only two prototypes were made by 1945, and with the war ending, along with its slow speed and logistical issues, the project was ultimately scrapped. Number 3. The Object 775 a unique Soviet experimental missile tank from the mid-1960s, built with a super low profile. It had a 125mm rifled gun launcher as its main weapon, which could shoot to regular shells as well as anti-tank guided missiles. The tank had a hydropneumatic suspension that let it kneel down more to stay hidden. Even though it had some cool features and could launch missiles, the Object 775 struggled with poor visibility, complicated systems, and reliability problems. In the end, it never made it to production because the Soviet military started focusing on more versatile main battle tanks instead of specialized missile tanks. Number 4. The Marizal The Marizal, which means martial in Romanian, it was a light tank destroyer created during World War II to take on tough Soviet tanks like the T-34. It was built on modified chassis from a captured T-60 light tank, giving it a low profile and sloped armor that made it hard to hit. At first, it came with a 122mm howitzer, but that was later swapped out for the more powerful Romanian 75mm Rosetta anti-tank gun. A few prototypes were made and tested, and they showed good potential in terms of firepower and movement. Unfortunately, plans for mass production fell through when Romania changed sides and got occupied by the Soviets leading to the cancellation of the project and confiscation of the prototypes. Number 5. The Bob Sample Tank An improvised fighting vehicle created in New Zealand during World War II, it was built out of a mix of fear of a possible Japanese invasion and a shortage of military equipment. The tank was basically a bunch of corrugated iron slapped onto a Caterpillar D8 tractor. It was armed with several brand light machine guns, but this massive, awkward machine was slow, terrible visibility, and didn't offer much protection. Even though it was meant to show off New Zealand's ability to be self-reliant, the bomb sample tank got mocked a lot and never really made it into production or battle, becoming a well-known example of wartime creativity. Number 6. The Shawfield Another unique New Zealand design developed in 1940 due to fears of Japanese invasion and a lack of imported armored vehicles. Its most distinguishing feature was its ability to run on either tracks or wheels, allowing for faster road travel and off-road mobility. Based on a Chevrolet truck chassis, it was armed with a two-pounder gun and a Bessa machine gun. Although a prototype was built and even shipped to Britain for evaluation, the arrival of tanks from the UK and the US made local production unnecessary. The Schofield tank, while innovative, never entered service. At number 7, the FV-215B Back in the 1950s, there was this British tank destroyer project 
designed to pack a serious punch with a huge 183mm gun, one of the biggest tank guns ever made. It was aimed at taking on a Soviet IS-3 heavy tanks and was based on a modified Conqueror chassis. It had a unique turret that could rotate fully at the back to handle that massive weapon. The main ammo used was high-explosive squash head rounds, which could really mess up armored vehicles. Though they built a full-scale wooden model and some parts, the project never made it to real prototype. Eventually, the rise of anti-tank guided missiles led to the cancellation of the FV-215B. Number 8. The A-39 Tortoise The British A-39 Tortoise was a super-heavy assault tank designed during World War II intended to clear heavily fortified areas. Weighing 79 tons, it prioritized immense armor protection over mobility. Its primary armament was a powerful 94mm, 32-pounder gun mounted in a fixed casemate with limited traverse. Only six prototypes were built by the war's end and none saw combat. While trials found it mechanically reliable and a stable gun platform, its extreme weight made it slowly and incredibly difficult to transport. The tortoise, true to its name, was an impressive feat of engineering but proved impractical for modern warfare, remaining an experimental vehicle. Number 9. The Chrysler TV-8 A highly unconventional American tank concept from the 1950s, designed for amphibious warfare, its most striking feature was a massive, pot-shaped turret that housed the entire four-man crew, the 90mm main gun, ammunition and even the engine. This innovative layout aimed to protect the crew from nuclear blasts and provide buoyancy for water propulsion. Ultimately, the TV-8 was cancelled in 1956. Despite its futuristic appearance, it offered no significant advantages over conventional tanks and presented numerous practical and logistical challenges, ensuring it remained an experimental curiosity. Number 10. The TOG the TOG heavy tanks were British prototypes made early in World War II. These tanks were meant to handle the static trench warfare of World War I. They had super long hulls to help them get over obstacles and focused heavily on armor and tough cross-country performance. Weighing about 80 tons, they were pretty slow and complicated mechanically, using diesel electric drives to power them. While they had some impressive features for their time, the fast-paced mobile battles of World War II made them pretty much obsolete before they could go into production. Only a few prototypes were ever made, with the TOG-2 being the only one still around today at the Tank Museum. Number 11. The FCM F1 A huge, super-heavy tank idea. From France back in the late 1930s to break through heavily fortified fortifications. This beast was supposed to weigh around 140 tons, making it the heaviest tank ever set for production. What was cool about it was that it had two turrets, one at the front with a similar gun and bigger one at the back with a powerful 105mm gun. They ordered 12 of them in 1940, but sadly, all they managed to complete was a wooden mock-up before France fell to Germany. The FCM F1 never made it past the drawing board and early prototypes becoming just another victim of the war. Number 12. The Panzer 70 The tank was basically West Germany's answer to the American MBT-70. This tank was really ahead of its time, featuring cool stuff like a fancy hydropneumatic suspension and a powerful 155mm gun launcher. The whole three-man crew was packed into the turret, and the driver's seat could spin around to always face forward. Even with its innovative features, the project faced huge cost overruns, technical headaches and disagreements between Germany and the US. These problems ultimately led to the project getting cancelled in 1971. Number 13. The KV-5 This beast was supposed to weigh about 100 tons and feature 17mm of front armor along with a powerful 107mm main gun. It was so huge that it needed a crew of five with dedicated spots for the driver and radio operator. They were close to finishing the design and had even started making some parts, but then everything got put on hold. The Germans were advancing on Leningrad, where the Karov plant was located, so they had to shift resources to build more urgent stuff like the KV-1. In the end, the KB-5 never got built and stayed just a dream for the Soviet tank program. 
Number 14. The OI Super Heavy Tank The OI Super Heavy Tank was a wild idea from Japan meant to take over heavier Soviet tanks. Picture it as a mobile fortress. It was supposed to weigh over 120 tons and come with thick armor and multiple turrets, including a big 105mm gun. But due to some serious industrial issues and the sheer size of the thing, only one incomplete prototype was ever made. It never went into production or saw any action, serving instead as a reminder of Japan's last-ditch efforts to build heavier armor during the war. Number 15. The Land Cruiser P-1000 Rat A wild and totally impractical idea for a super-heavy tank dreamed up by Nazi Germany and proposed by Krupp in 1942. It was meant to weigh a jaw-dropping 1,000 tons and was designed to have some serious firepower, including two big 280mm guns in its main turret, along with a bunch of smaller weapons for dealing with aircraft and infantry. But let's be real. The thing would have been super slow, a giant target for airstrikes, probably wouldn't have been able to cross most bridges or even fit on regular roads. Hitler gave the green light for it, but Albert Speer wisely put the brakes on the project in 1943. With this, we're signing off for today, but stay tuned and we'll bring you more interesting videos from the world of military. We'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.